Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part three. Something my 93 year old Dana would call, pardon her French, a steaming crock of shit. <laughs> the other thing she'd say is, talk don't matter till the rubber hits the road. So I like to start driving and tell you about not one, but two initiatives funded by the Bird Family Foundation. Oh, we need to talk. I'm in the middle of an event. What happened to Marty's partner in Chicago? Okay, let's let's go talk. What happened to Marty's? Right here, right now. Did you make that partner disappear too? Did the real shit start when you got here to Ozarks? This is not the place. What this? This is fucking fake. It's a lie. Come on. There's an administration in Washington. We're having an episode, and I, I need you to take a deep breath. Do not. Do not fucking do that to me. Don't you fucking condescend me like I'm fucking sick and you're well. Okay, we can we can talk about all of this, but just not right now. Let's talk about Bruce's dad. I need you to keep your voice down. I will not keep my fucking voice down! Hey, Ben, Ben, is everything okay? No, Marty, nothing is fucking okay. I need you to just calm down a little. Whoa! Oh. Oh. either but uh oh you know we have to uh -oh. there's no good options Wendy it's jail or hospital yeah yeah that's it. Kill him. so we'll jail or the cartel or Casey Mark Sheriff has agreed you request a transfer to the state hospital what state hospital state in lieu of jail I can't can't we can't we just send him to a, a private facility We've already found a very good ones nearby. I'm sorry, but that's law. Mm. Sheriff needs your permission as next of kin. Does he have it? Dang. Good. I need to see my client. You're lucky. Marty won't be pressing charges. And the sheriff is willing to consider this a family squabble rather than a bail violation, so you're not going to jail. You are going to the Central Ozarks Behavioral Health Center. No. Yes. You will be committed on an indefinite hold. Mm. No. No, 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 Next, not to worry. Don't let all that shit that happened tonight be what you remember, okay? What do you mean? You and Aaron. Remember that. Doesn't mean much. Yes, it does. You got kissed by a girl. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so remember that. What do you remember tonight? Aw. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Bruce Langhorn? Uh, yeah, that's me. You can see him now. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm his sister? No. He only wants to see her. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, I'll forgive him this. It's his slippers and his robe. No robes are allowed here. That's right. You can tie yourself up with it. Mm. It's his slippers and some bonnet. And tell him that I love him. Tell him that this is only temporary now that it gets better. Ruth, I can't believe she did this. Her and that fucking lawyer. What happened last night? All right, you caused the scene. Why did you come in the party like that? She killed your dad, didn't she? And that FBI agent, she did that too. Not, not, um, Patty, just... I'm sorry. It's complicated. He was... I should have never said anything. <laughs> she promised me she would never do this again. This place is death, Ruth. It'll kill me. She knows I can't take it. Tell me what I did is so insane I need to be locked up. What exactly am I wrong about? Well, you caught, you assaulted somebody. No, but he's not wrong. <laughs> it's not fair, none of it. What happened to you that's not okay? I know. 
I'm sorry. It's fucking drugs. What can I do? Screw Marty and Wendy. Get me out of here. I can't stand it in this fucking place. You gotta get me out of here. I'm having misgivings about our partners up here. Explain. They're struggling to move even a minimum of cash. Mm. Their efforts with the special agent are at a standstill. And to top it off, last night's charity event did not go well. And why is this any concern of mine? Maybe they are just not what we thought they were. Mm. Do whatever you need to do. Mm. How, how's he doing? The three. Not good. Oh. Sheriff's got him, like, on suicide watch or something. He's in this place, Wyatt, this, this awful place. I mean, they call it a behavioral health facility, but it's nothing but a shithole for crazy people. I can't believe they put him there. He doesn't belong in a fucking place like that. Hey, I think maybe Darlene could help. Be Don't like you Arlene, play so. games with me. You put him in there, you can get him out. I'm not playing games, Darlene. I'm just trying to uphold the law. And what if I let that guy out? He goes and shoots up a fucking bar. He won't. I want him out today. You know that judge who committed him, right? Who signed the order? I want you to drive out to his place right now and convince him to tear up that order. If I do this for you, you gotta do something for me. Uh oh. Oh, you making demands now? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, just ask him. If I do this for you, you need to find somebody else to run your product. Mm hmm. Deal. Wow. Wow. So now they're gonna be with Darlene. <laughs> Why the hell would Darlene get involved with this? Well, because she hates us. Because she's fucking Wyatt. Because Wyatt's Ruth's cousin. Do you have an idea where he's headed? No. He got in a cab. Ruth's maybe, or... Or he's coming here. To... I'll head to Ruth's. I'm closer. Dr. Warren and Casey Meyer. Whoa, whoa. Whose house is this? This is the lawyer's house. Oh my God, he's about to die. Yes, what was it? Oh my God! Can you really be okay, that? One there you are. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Don't bother, the sheriff got me out. Me out. You don't know what a piece of shit your mother is there? If she's a fucking lawyer, well, she ain't. She's a fucking monster. My sister is a monster, her husband is a monster too. You know what they really do? Who they really work for? Aaron. No, 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 no. They launder drug no, 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 no. money. Wow. Drug money, Aaron, for the Navarro drug cartel. That's enough. You need to turn around and you need to leave now. Fuck you. Fuck. Is that true? No, of course it isn't. What the fuck was I thinking? You're not my fucking lawyer. You're not my fucking lawyer. You're not even a fucking lawyer. You're a fucking cartel operative. You sell heroin. You have people killed. You have them tortured. You tortured Ruth. Oh, did Jesus. you kill her dad or did you just throw to the hip? Your mom, your mom has people killed and tortured for the cartel. You want to know what's really fucked up? You remember that truck that got all shot up? They're in the middle of a fucking drug war. That could have been your fucking house. Enough! Get out! You're dead. He wasn't supposed to know about that. Mm -mm. So, Mom, why is he saying this? Because he's sick. He's supposed to be in a mental institution and he doesn't know what he's saying. It's okay. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> this daggone show puts me in an emotional roller coaster. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it.
I'm like, yay, anxiety. Tick, 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 I just literally visualize myself going up, looking down. Yeah, I, I never do that. You never do. I cry so hard because Ben, his cry, Jesus, his scream, when he was screaming out for Wendy, and then that last scream that he did. I can't take this show. This I don't even. This, show. this is the craziest thing, though. Cause when we started this, everybody was like, "Yeah, you'll love Ozark. You'll love." Y'all need to stop using "love" so loosely. <laughs> stop using that word so loosely. I think Music Soul Child told y'all, "Don't do that." <laughs> <laughs> so many people use your name in vain. Okay, listen. He said it. Don't use your name. Don't use it in vain. <laughs> I can't say that I love this show, but it just it makes me feel some kind of way every time we watch it. Mm -hmm. It's just an emotional roller coaster for me, and literally tick 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 tick. But did y'all see Helen's face at the end of that? She's about to oh. kill him. Oh, she already got the permission from Mr. Cartel mm -hmm. himself. Do what you got to do. She mm -hmm. hung up the phone. Click. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, they already caught. They killed the therapist. Mm -hmm. Here go Marty <laughs> wiping down everything after he realized. Oh, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. Let me see the appointment said. Helen Pierce, and then it said Frank Jackson. Oh, that was the last appointment that she wrote in here? Because it was a long block mm -hmm. for them? Yeah, and they're wiping out everything. Mm -hmm. Poor Ruth. And then Crazy Darlene. Hey, it's her lover boy. So, of course, she's going to get him out of the hospital. But they said it's either hospital or jail. Mm-hmm. But who was pressing charges? Why was he going to go to jail? Oh, maybe because, because it's them from the he, he oh, state, North Carolina. North Carolina. Then he beat up the dude in the bar, and now this. Oh. So it's maybe it's all caught up. Well, they got they got him off for beating the dude, unless he pressed a charge. But Marty didn't press charges, so he's going to jail because of North Carolina. Um, I yeah, he crazy, and I don't know if. I don't actually. I don't even know if meds can help him. I mean, he knows the truth. That's not most people who have, yeah, okay, bipolar. They know some truth and they're trying to keep it down, and it keeps coming back up. And then people classify them as bipolar. I don't want to say most cases are like that, but they know some truth about some stuff, like from their past, and they're trying to suppress it, and that's what causes them to be bipolar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is good. She's going to kill him. And that's all I got to say about that. Until next time. <laughs> right. Um, I didn't say anything. Let me uh, find Sorry. something to talk about. Um, that was, well, he's bipolar. So even Ruth realizes that was the wrong time and place for him to show up like that. She, 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 she knows. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's the wrong person to tell. He's the right and wrong person to tell that somebody that did you wrong. <laughs> Either on or off your mind. Right, he, he's a right and wrong. You know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. you know he just needs help. He's he's good at heart. Yeah. Uh, but stuff is just going downhill. The agent back go, had to go back to D.C. Mm -hmm. Cartel dude said, "Do what you got to do." Because the this event, is all bad. yeah, the event didn't go well. The FBI agent is off the case. Everything that everything that Marty promised that he would do while he was being uh, captured, or he wasn't being tortured, but he was being fed maggots. Uh, he told him he would flip her. Two things. Ruth is going to be with Darlene and Wyatt and going to bring Marty and Wendy down. And all along, Marty just wanted to get out. <laughs> and they pulled him back in. <laughs> Well, I mean, I wouldn't even say against Marty, but because Wendy and Marty ain't even on the same yeah. level either. Mm -hmm. But then you got the kids that know the truth. And then now Aaron, she, he told her oh. everything. Oh. And she was already in love with the little pedophile mm -hmm. guy See, that got the killed. Informant. Yeah. Pedophile. <laughs> yep. He was a grown man trying to go. have sex with a teenager. Yep. That's a pedophile. Yeah. All right.
right. Um, let us know what you guys thought of that episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do that. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.